What's up everyone? My name's Jacob and this is probably a video I should have made um, a while ago. But anyway, this is Jacob's list of essential tools you will need to get through design school. Essential so you can save all the money that you don't have because you're a student and let's face it, you're broke. Also, exciting announcement, this is my first sponsored video, so I actually feel like a proper YouTuber now. And this video is sponsored by Skillshare. And for those of you who don't know, Skillshare is this amazing online learning community with thousands of video tutorials about how to learn basically anything. I personally use it a lot, and I've used it a lot for years. I've learned to use Photoshop, I've learned to use character design drawing, and a bunch of other things that are not coming to my mind at the moment, but it is incredible and I highly recommend you check it out. And with a premium membership that costs less than $10 a month, which face it people, that's like two cups of coffee a month, you get access to unlimited learning. And they have given me a special offer to give to you guys. So for the first 500 subscribers to click the link below in the description, you'll get your first two months free. Anyway, moving on to the main video. So, the essential tools you need to get through design school. I've split this into three categories. Number one, drawing. Number two, model making. And number three, software. Before we get into those, let's talk computers. Ah! What do you need? So, a laptop. This is an essential tool for university. Uh, there are people out there who probably would say, not an essential tool for university, but those people, they'd be wrong. However, you will need a laptop, but the question is, <clears throat> do you get a Mac? Do you get a PC? Well, to answer that question, it depends on what CAD software you use. If you use the old, boring, horrible piece of CAD software, which is SolidWorks, SolidWorks does not run on Mac, so you would need a PC. However, if you use any other form of CAD software, you can get a Mac. I love other pieces of CAD software, so I use Macs. Now, as regards to what sort of computer you need, do you need a really powerful one? The answer is actually no, you do not. I got through university through with a pretty old laptop. It was a MacBook Pro 2013. It had these specs. So if you get a computer that has specs as of this or around this or better than this, you're going to be perfectly fine. Now, next section. Drawing. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Now this is a tricky one because there are two routes you can take. There's number one, you can go digital, or number two, you can stay traditional. I highly recommend you go digital. The industrial design world is definitely moving towards digital if it's not already there. If you want to get into digital drawing, I highly recommend you get an iPad. This is not an iPad Pro, just the newest iPad, and it works perfectly with the Apple Pencil. This is actually incredibly cheap for what you get, an on-screen drawing display, and it is amazing. However, if you have more money, I highly recommend getting the bigger iPad Pro, as that's just Mwah! So much about that. The other option is, and this is actually quite potentially a good option if you wanted to save money, is you get the Microsoft Surface, which is also a drawing tablet as well as being a pretty powerful computer that can run your CAD software. And if you're using SolidWorks, it works in pretty well. Now, traditional drawing. This is where I went so wrong and spent so much money on things I didn't use. So I'm going to tell you to strip back to the absolute basics. Number one, pens, what do you need? What I recommend you getting is number one for your main pen is a whole lot of Papermate flares. Beautiful pen to draw with. And then for your thicker lines, I recommend just getting a regular Sharpie. These two pens will sort you out for 95% of the things you need it for. And as for markers, I don't recommend you go overboard. What I recommend you get is you get the brand Copic. These are Copic markers. By far the best marker brand out there, and they're beautiful to draw with. But instead of getting a ton of selections like this, what I recommend you do is just get maybe two to three bright colors, like a red, a blue, maybe a, a green or something. And then use those colors as sort of accents to give your drawings a little bit more flair and to differentiate surfaces. So all you need is the pens and the markers and that's it. And as for paper, do not get fancy paper because it's expensive and you're going to be going through a lot of drawings. Just draw on copy paper. If you do A4, fine. If you get the bigger stuff, which is A3, even better. But just stay cheap with paper. And that's all you need. Now, number three, model making. So you're going to be doing a lot of physical prototyping in industrial design. So while the workshop has the vast majority of tools you're going to need, there are a few sort of extra tools it's always great to have in your personal toolbox. Number one is a scalpel. This is like a fine sort of knife, 
and this is sort of really good for cutting the little intricate things, cleaning up 3D models. It is a must have with a lot of spare blades. You go through those things like no one's business. Number two is a classic Stanley or box cutter knife. Pretty cheap, pretty sturdy, get a nice sort of sturdy one, and again buy a lot of blades for it. You're going to be cutting a lot of stuff. Number three is a really good long, at least 600 millimeter long steel ruler. Don't bother with plastic, steel, having a steel ruler just makes all the difference. The final thing you'll need is a decent pair of calipers. This comes in handy so much with model building when you have to measure things, whether you're cutting something up from life or you just need to get the right measurement of a hole. These things are a must. Definitely invest in a good pair of these. So software, what do I use? Well CAD, there are two major players. Number one is SolidWorks, but honestly, between you and me, SolidWorks is horrible. I do not like using SolidWorks at all. I've tried it. Yeah, what I recommend that you try and because is <laughs> Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is an amazing CAD software. You can do free modeling, parametric modeling, you can even do rendering straight within the same piece of software. I highly recommend you guys getting Fusion 360 and the best part is it is free for students if you click the link below. And as for rendering, what I love is Keyshot. It's a bit pricey, but it is an amazing piece of software. However, if you don't have the money, the rendering in Fusion 360 is pretty, pretty good and it will definitely suit your needs. I mean, you can turn out renders that look really decent like this one. Now, and finally, the other thing I recommend students to get and is a must have is the full Adobe Suite. I highly recommend you get Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, which is something I use a lot and all the other things that come with it. It is such a powerful set of tools and for a student, it is actually incredibly well priced. Link below to student discounts for Adobe as well. So there we have it people, those are my essential tools to get you through design school. Um, if you think there's something I've missed or another tool that you have found essential then please leave it in the comments below and it'd be really cool to see what other tools people are using. Also I'm wanting to do a lot more videos, I'm really starting to I guess ramp up my video output. So please in the comments below please leave some ideas for some future videos that you think I could do. I'm really open to a whole lot of things and it could be a lot of fun. Anyway, please subscribe and like this video because it actually does make a difference and I will see you guys in the next video. Anyway, enjoy design, enjoy life, be happy, don't die and network. Network is the key. And Jacob out. Wait.